Once chemical has been applied to the fixtures and surfaces of the restroom and the floor has been brushed, we're ready for the next letter in the simple process. P stands for pressure wash and rinse. To begin, turn on the pump motor if you turned it off while you were brushing the restroom. Now, grab the spray gun and move to the furthest fixture in the restroom. Pull the gun nozzle back to put the spray gun in high pressure mode and then turn the nozzle until you get a pinpoint spray pattern. Begin pressure rinsing fixtures and target surfaces working from the top down. For toilets, rinse in a top down manner beginning with the chrome supply pipe and tank and working your way down to the toilet seat. Now lift the seat and rinse the underside of the toilet seat, paying particular attention to the seat hinges. Next, perform the rim shot and slam dunk to clean the inside of the toilet bowl. Place the tip of the spray gun on the underside of the toilet rim and spray to clean the underside of the bowl. Then point the spray gun straight down into the bowl and scour the inside of the bowl, keeping the spray gun about three to four inches above the water line. After the slam dunk, continue downward rinsing the underside of the toilet. Pressure rinsing a toilet should take no more than 30 seconds. To pressure rinse a urinal, spray it from top to bottom, beginning with the flush handle and valve system. Pay particular attention to the valve stem bell, which is a common collection point for soils. Then continue by rinsing the rim of the urinal and scouring the bowl with the spray gun, and finishing up by rinsing the outside of the fixture. Pressure rinsing a urinal should take no more than 15 seconds. For sinks, Rinse in a top-down fashion, rinsing the faucet and handles and moving along the top edge of the sink and the sink bowl. Bring the spray gun around the outside of the sink and down to the plumbing beneath the fixture. Pressure rinsing a sink should take no more than seven seconds. When you reach a mirror, you may pressure rinse them as well and then use the squeegee to remove water and prevent spotting. Once all the fixtures and target surfaces have been pressure rinsed, return to the system and turn the pump off. Now point the gun down and squeeze the trigger to remove any water pressure still in the spray line. Lock the safety valve on the spray line and set the gun aside. We're now ready for the next step in the simple process. In the next video module, we'll cover the letter L, which stands for loop the spray line.